I have with me uh, John Wright and I'm so happy to see him here. I uh, wasn't expecting but uh, but great to see him. He's got younger actually. He tells me he's 64 <laughs> but I don't think he's, he is 64. So my first question to him would be how does he feel watching the men in blue from outside because he's actually great the men in blue uh, during his time. My first overseas coach and my favorite coach uh, till so far and uh, and how does it feel, John, watching these boys? I think a bit, bit like you. Um, you sort of read another World Cup together and now they've got their chance. And um, I, I, I've always thought that it was the greatest privilege to have the opportunity to, to work in India. I, I never expected it, you know. Yes. And then um, how hard it was at the, the start for both of us, uh, you know, proving ourselves, yes. you know, you, you were a new captain and I was a foreign coach and um, you remember the good times but you, you yeah. know there were some tough and, times. And we had quite a few good times during that era thanks to the wonderful team and John's way of handling everyone because uh, not everyone was very easy to handle. I met him first time in Kent when Rahul came and said you know he's our coach and, and would you look at him and, and work with him I said yeah I would love to and that's that's when I first got hold of him and, and, and we had a, had a great relationship. We actually genuine friends, you know, he works with the Mumbai Indians quietly at the back and how has that experience been? Oh, I've really enjoyed that. T20 I've, cricket? Yeah, I've sort of really, really enjoyed that, they're great And, and they have a Kiwi as an Indian talent scout, can you imagine? That's how well, <laughs> that's how well he knows about, about Indian cricket. We spoke about our World Cup preparations and we spoke about our game against Natal B, which according to John was the most strongest team we faced in that in that World Cup till we faced Australia in the final. So he'll tell you more about it and how he felt after we lost that game against the club. Well, we went, uh, we were playing um, on the outskirts of Durban and uh, we'd been having a tough time. We'd gone to New Zealand, got thrashed and Mr. Delmere told me that, you know, uh, we had to do well in the World Cup and um, I knew that from my coaching perspective and we played this game and um, they didn't get many and then you gave them a few just so we could have a few extra to chase so we could have a good practice. This is one way of getting out behind me so you give them the yeah. because if, if they would have got <laughs> Was it my fault? <laughs> if they, if we, they would have got 100 we would have won that game but nonetheless we had a great World Cup and he was responsible for it because there were some strong headed players in that, in that side uh -huh. and as we grew both of us together we got better friends and I think he yeah. was more of a friend than a coach to me. I understood him, he understood me and you know every time I see him I, it, it feels so good. And anyway it's John lovely to to stand next to you and speak yeah. about cricket once again and, and, and it's so happy to see you and so nice every time I get to know you. Yeah well the feeling is exactly the same. Thank you. Uh, we had some great times.